Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, on the 4th of March 2021, Microsoft released the latest stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, version 89. So that means we have gone from version 88 to 89 in this latest release. And this also follows on from Google Chrome being updated to version 89 earlier this week, because both Edge and Chrome are based on the Chromium web browser. Now, as always, if you'd like to see if you have the update, just go to the top right hand corner of the browser, click on the three dotted menu, go down to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if it hasn't done so already in the background, this will update you to the latest version of Microsoft Edge. And the latest version is 89.0.774.45. Now in this release, there are a few feature updates and while we are in the update menu, the first feature is you can now download Edge over metered connections. And for example, if you are running a cellular network and you toggle this on, you can now have updates to Edge over a metered connection. This is obviously off by default for obvious reasons. Now, the next feature we will look at is called sleeping tabs. And if we go to the left to system, you will see that there is a new save resources section and you can now save resources with sleeping tabs. This save resources was actually added to my Microsoft Edge last month in version 88 and Microsoft didn't make it widely available to all users of Microsoft Edge last month but I see now with version 89 they are pushing this out to most users of uh, Microsoft Edge. So what this does is when this is on, inactive tabs will go to sleep after a specified time to save system resources. So if you are somebody who has a lot of tabs open and like to browse with a lot of tabs open, this is a handy feature and this is on by default because um, the more tabs you have open, Obviously, the more processes and resources are running in the background, which then could lead to your browsing experience becoming a lot more sluggish and slower. And the, especially if you are using a, a laptop on battery power, the more tabs you have open could drain your battery a lot faster. So this is a very handy feature, especially if you are running a laptop on battery power. And yeah, you can see you can put in active tabs to sleep after the specified amount of time. It is uh, on two hours of inactivity by default, but you have the choice to go from five minutes right through to six hours. And if, if there is a certain website you are using regularly, you can choose not, never put these sites to sleep, and then you just go add, and you can add the URL of that website. If you are using a website regularly and don't want it to be put to sleep, you can add it here, and that is also handy. Now, in conjunction with save resources, uh, Microsoft has also enabled support for intensive throttling, a feature created by Google engineers for Chromium. This feature is supposed to reduce resources usage by prioritizing your inactive tabs over the others in the background, and it could also extend the battery life. So Microsoft looking like they are really trying to uh, concentrate on the performance side of things with this release of Microsoft Edge. Now, the next feature we're going to look at is called Startup Boost. And if we stay in system and we go to the top, you'll see here Startup Boost. Now, this is off by default. And what this does, it says here, the browser will launch in the background when you sign into your device and continue running when you close all browser windows. So what this does is if you shut down your PC today and then you restart it tomorrow, what this does is when you when you toggle this on, it will load processes of Microsoft Edge when your computer starts and thereby when you um, want to open Microsoft Edge, it will load a lot faster and I have uh, read that Microsoft claims this will start Microsoft Edge 41% faster when you have got Startup Boost turned on. Now, 
you will see here that it says and continue running when you're, you close all browser windows. So if you close Microsoft Edge and you're still on your active session on your computer and then you restart it, Microsoft says that the browser will start up boost enabled, your browser will start 41% faster. Now my only problem with start up boost is when you close Edge, there are still processes running in the background. Now, I don't use Microsoft Edge as my main web browser. I use Google Chrome. So I don't want processes running in the background when I'm not using Microsoft Edge because the more processes running in the background, the more sluggish and slower your, your computer can become. And especially if you are using an older machine, if you are using a more modern machine, there's nothing to worry about. So what I do is I leave that uh, feature turned off uh, as I say because I don't use Microsoft Edge as my main web browser but if you do a handy feature to have now the next feature we are going to take a look at is vertical tabs layout and if you go to the left hand corner of your Microsoft Edge web browser you will see that there is a new turn on vertical tabs icon and what this does is it drops your uh, tabs at the top down to a vertical pane on the left of your Microsoft Edge web browser and let's just open up some tabs and if you hover over it it will increase the size and then obviously go back to normal and you can pop that back and then you can put it back on the left now I covered this um, a, a few days ago when I did a review on the latest Microsoft Edge Canary browser, which has this had this enabled already. But there you were able to uh, increase and decrease the size to your own preference by dragging this. But I see that function has not made its way to this version of Microsoft Edge yet. And then also you can pin it to the side so it stays there. And then if you wanted to go back. You just collapse pane. So I think that is a nice little feature added to Microsoft Edge. And then while we are on side panes, uh, another new feature is if we go to the three dotted menu and we click on history, you will see now that your browsing history is now in a drop down window as opposed to the old new tab page. And if you want the old look, you just click on the three dotted. Uh, little three dots you go manage history and that will be your old history profile there but I think that this is a nice new modern feature just for quick access if you are accessing your history frequently and then what you can do is you can also pin it just like the drop down menu for uh, the, the vertical tabs layout for the new tabs you can your history to the side as well if you so wish but I see there is no option to resize it as yet so that is a handy new feature also added to Microsoft Edge and then Microsoft is also improving text selection in PDF documents um, opened in Edge to reduce issues in certain documents another feature is the ability to customize scaling while printing web pages and PDF documents and this scaling options include fit to page, paper size, and actual size. The third option would ensure that the size of the document remains unaffected and quality of the original document will be retained. So Microsoft has improved um, the PDF and printing side of things in Microsoft Edge as well. And then there is a new extensions menu. Now, I don't see this on my Microsoft Edge at the moment. So if we just open up Chrome quickly, you will see that you have got the option to have a extensions icon where your extensions will drop down in a menu. Now this was is supposed to have been added to Microsoft Edge version 89. Um, I don't see it in my Microsoft Edge. I can't see any option to enable it. 
So obviously that is still going to be rolling out to uh, users. Obviously that is is not been made available just yet as as yet to most users of Microsoft Edge. So that is something uh, that will be coming. A new extensions uh, icon will be placed here on the top right of Microsoft Edge, so you can access your extensions a lot quicker. And then just some other mentions. Uh, Edge Autofill has also been updated to uh, include your date of birth, like addresses or emails. And you can also um, edit and delete date of birth information anytime by visiting um, your settings in Microsoft Edge. And then Autofill suggestions will now include content for Windows Clipboard. This works only when you click on the text field for a phone number, email, and so on. So... Um, those are what I can see and uh, in my experience what I can see and my research on Microsoft Edge. Those are the new features and then obviously there are the security uh, fixes and updates which um, it's advisable to update just for that. Just to make your online browsing experience a lot safer and more secure. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.